Question 4.0 GPA Online Tutorial. This is the part 2 of a question we solved earlier. Part 1 is already uploaded. You can look for it in order to understand this better. So this part 2 is to export our work that we've done in Excel here to Word document. Okay. So question 1 that we solved was the agricultural D GDP calculating them. So the same way in exporting to Word document in order to analyze for lecture you highlight what you have done you highlight okay before we send it let's label it the years the name though when you send it to word two you can do same day so let's put the 2008 2009 and the next one is 2010 this one is 20 11 the last one 2012 okay so that's for let me bolden it to I'm going to bolden it to differentiate it from and also bolden to the same way you can see it here we are bolding it okay so you copy the whole thing from here so that's question one and two that I've combined together, copying to Word document. Okay, so it's the same copy, then you press home on your phone, you select where your Microsoft Word is. Open a new document, which is the plus sign at the top here, plus, you go for blank, one, so you long press then your paste option will come you just paste it as simple as that or you can also undo the paste and then before you paste you go for paste options so paste options we have keep source formatting keep test only for keep source formatting okay so whichever way to nicely paste it for you now I want us to highlight it and then we go for home insect you see tables there yes so you click on the table and we have it in a nice table here okay our top has been changed let me highlight the top which is the title for the years it has been changed so i cut i've highlighted it let me cut and then put the case in the second one then paste in there so this is it doesn't eight thousand nine twenty ten twenty two so this we've done question one and question two so your analysis will come beneath it then put it at the top here and go for my so this is where question let me put question question one and two so that's it that's the table you've done you come down here and use the enter key to go down question three question three is good so you can press home again or use this and you go for your excel you select question two question two says share question three says share of agriculture share of industry so you copy you highlight all of them and there are figures as well then you copy you go back to sorry go back to your word document uh, so this is a uh, question to you enter so that you go down you long press go for the paste options keep source formatting okay so you can highlight it 
Okay, then you go for table insects table. Okay, so that is it here for you. This is share. So question three, you can just write it there. Share of the various sectors. Let me use that one. Share of the various sectors. So share of the various sectors in the whole economy. So they are done with question four. You can tap the down there. Question five. And six question five and six also. I'm going to copy it so either you use this or you can press home then you select Excel. Okay, so question six question question so that's the growth rate this time. Let's select with the growth rate and everything. Okay. You select to the end, then you copy as well. Go for your Word document, then you paste. Oh, you are forgetting question five. So let's paste this, then we do question, so question five. So you highlight it again and you go for home insect tables and to draw a nice table for you. Actually, this is question f 5 and 6 or uh, question 4. If, if it's so, you can use this. Put question 5 here. Question 4, there, sorry. Last question for Question 4, as I said in the first video, the dominant subsector. So you are only going to look through and then you comment that crop had the highest value throughout as an A2012 for agricultural sector. You do same for industrial by looking through which of the which of the variables or which of the items had the highest value under each sector that's basically that is it okay so let's go and copy the graph to which is question seven okay so enter you go to the excel again you how you tap on your graph just tap anywhere you just tap it then you can see copy at the top you go to your word document you go to your word document you tap on it you can see paste here oh let's undo it i didn't copy it well let's undo it so let's go back to the graph again I didn't copy. So let me see. Okay, so now I can see I have tapped it. Uh -huh. You can have tapped it. Tab, okay. So I copy it. In the copy and I come to a word document and then paste it here. Okay, so you can expand it by dragging this arrow. Also, you can tap on the chat title and then give it a nice title. Give it a nice title. So let's select it. Mm. Let's select it to give it. Mm, select. I've selected it. Mm, okay. Oh, I'm going to give it a nice. So this is question seven. Okay. Also, with the changing of the chat name, you can do it at Excel there before bringing it here. Mm -hmm. The same thing. Okay. I don't know why it's not opening, but when you tap it. It should open for you for you to change the title you change it to the graph of the growth rate in gdp so basically this is it how to copy it then you save it 
and I type in here save as so that you can name it well maybe assignment one or Excel assignment however you you name it Excel assignment assignment okay then you select where you want to put it device document and put it in my document okay wherever you want to put it save it for yourself so basically this is it you are done for this works tutorial so don't forget to subscribe to operation 4.0 gpa and don't forget also to share for your friends that they will also enjoy for they will also enjoy this online tutorials we are doing so thank you so much for watching this video look forward for more videos from us have a good day